Excuse me, KSG means old high German. I need to give you guys this one too. GK means Greek. And I'm going to add one more. Now, at this point, you should kind of be able to start figuring some of these out on your own. Mm -hmm. But uh, squeeze it in here. S A N S means Sanskrit. So what do you think J-A-P means? Yeah. All right, so we're all, we're all on the same page. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what is am.e? Am.e. Did I write that? Well, I was asking because I see something. It's capital A. It's probably American English. Yeah, it's capital A, small okay. yeah. yeah. I was just trying to it. American English. <laughs> Equivocal means lots of things, and some of your dictionaries will tell you exactly what it means, and some of them will not. The most important thing you should know about equivocal language, which is what English is, is this. And this is an old de uh, definition out of an old dictionary. Equivocal language is subject to two or more interpretations, and it is usually used to mislead. The dictionary specifically said that. It is used to mislead, to deceive, to confuse, and it is of uncertain nature or disposition toward a person or thing. It is of doubtful advantage, of doubtful genuineness, and of doubtful moral rectitude. That's what an equivocal language is. That's what English is. That's why when our ancestors used to say, the pale man speaks with forked tongue, that's what they were talking about. He says something and it's not usually what you think it means. Okay? All right. Now, um, I'm going to, I kind of want to share, turn to grammar. Because one of the things that you learn about English is, is what? Grammar. And you go to what? Grammar school to learn grammar. Grammar is spelled G-R-A-M-M-A-R. -M -M Grammar. Now, what you need to understand about the word grammar, is there anybody here that's ever seen this show that comes on weekly about the three sister witches called Charmed? Yeah. <laughs> and they always talk about this book called The Grimoire, or The Dark Book of Shadows. That's another definition of the word grammar. Turn in your dictionary to the word grammar, and if it doesn't say it in the definition, it should say it in the brackets, that the word grammar is the same word as the word glamour, G-L-A-M-O-U-R. They're exactly the same. The word grammar, I'm going to e erase equivocal if that's all right. All right. There's another word called grimoire, G-R-I-M-O-I-R-E. These three words are identical. Grimaire, G-R-I-M-M-A-I-R-E. And grimoire, G-R-I-M-O-I-R-E. These words are identical words. And when you look all of these words up in the dictionary, if you get to the brackets, then when you start looking at the derivations of the word, you will see that they are one and the same. So when you send your children to, and you went yourself, to grammar school, you were really being placed in a situation where you were being cast the most vital spell on yourself. <laughs> 